Welcome back, Rise Up 44 here on Nelio Gaming. We're checking out Ken Follett's The Pillars of the Earth on the PlayStation 4. This game is by Deadelic Entertainment, and we're jumping right in. All right, we have Ken Follett's The Pillars of the Earth from the Ashes, book one, chapters one through seven. Start book and options. Start the book. Do you want to play the tutorial? Sure. Current location, cathedral. Use your left thumbstick to move around. You can press and hold R2 to walk faster. To think about something. Stand nearby the object and press square multiple times. To see all important objects, characters, and exits, press and hold L2. Tools are equipped now. You can see them at the bottom of the screen on the right hand side. To use them with the object or character, press triangle when nearby. Alright, I got something from the statue. Oh, there's a girl here. Talk to Sally. You can walk forward and back. All right. My daughter, as stubborn as me, and as stubborn as her mother. Choose an answer and press X. Wave to get your daughter's attention, cough to get your daughter's attention. If you want to stay silent, wait for the timer to run out. Alright. When an arrow like this appears, press X to explore another area. Interesting. Interesting. Eleven thirty five. This should do. How do you feel? Oh, 
can't complain. After all, there's a cozy tree in my back. <laughs> I promise, this will be the last fire. After tonight, it won't be trees anymore, but walls and a roof. In Shiring, I will find a job. What if the bishop wants to hire you for life? To keep his palace in shape? Maybe strengthen the town's defenses? Plain things, Tom Builder. Just walls and roofs. There. Took me a lifetime to find some dry ones in this wet. Why didn't we just use your staff? The old thing would have done nicely. Because that thing is precious. It's not made to burn. And we might be able to sell it. Right, now let's see if this does the trick. Make fire. <clears throat> The flint is dwindling, but the steel still shines. Okay. Martha, you want to cut up some turnips? We'll be making soup. Mm, if it helps. Alfred? You go and look for water. We could just eat snow. No, it'll be proper water for my family. You sit, I'll take care of it. You still haven't answered my question, Tom Builder. What if the bishop offered you a job like they did in Exeter? Something that is beneath your craft, but pays for a lifetime. Easy work. Well, building something is never easy. You know what I mean. After Exeter, you said I could create something that matters, something that stands for eternity, or I could die setting up houses and sheds. But what if houses and sheds would feed your family? Would you stay this time, or would you keep on looking? Hmm. Man, that's a tough question. Let's stay this time. I'd be glad to stay. Would you now? Just no. promise me you'll think about it. I need to find some proper water. A clue. You collected a clue. It works just like an item. Use the clue on characters to talk about the topic. Use it on objects to find out how the object and the clue might be connected. Maybe we can sell the baby. Alfred! I'm joking. Don't listen to me. And how's my little girl holding up? I don't have time for holding up. I have to cut up our dinner. You're a steadfast lass, Martha. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> All right, we got the pail. One of the last things we haven't had to sell yet. Oh, stupid snow. Why did it have to come down just now? Can you see the sun yet? No, but Martha. Don't distract me. I'm working. Inspect. Inspect later. Tom's staff. Tom received this mason's tool as a farewell gift in Exeter, 1125. He uses it to lay the groundwork for new buildings. Its shadow can tell time and point out the east. The direction a church must always face. Alright, we need water. Hungry? I'm fine. I need to find some proper water. Alright. There we go.
too hard for my fist, but my use pot should break it. Yeah, they use the pot, dude. Need something harder, oh like my, my pot. How do you select it? <laughs> I can't carry it in my hands. Dirty snow. <laughs> I can't carry it in my hands. What's up with the bird? <laughs> Shoo! Houses and sheds. Walls and roofs. I'd be glad. I should be glad. Should do. I don't need any more. all the water. And did you think about what I asked you? I might never build a cathedral. Is that so bad? Why is a cathedral so special? Well, you've seen a few. You should know. Yes, but there are so many already. Why do you have to build another one? Is it because God needs more houses? <laughs> <laughs> May I? If you must. <laughs> well. Curious kid. Start with the walls, start with the roof. Actually, a cathedral isn't so different from any other house. It always starts simple, with some walls. And on top of that, you put a roof. Very good. A roof to keep off the rain, and walls to keep up the roof. Together, that makes one big, long, but dark room. Like a cave. <laughs> the voice acting is the same as their last game I really liked. Put in windows. So, of course, you may want some light coming in. Windows. Right. So the people inside can see what they're doing. Um, I think you forgot something. People can't get in if there are only walls. So, what do you suggest? Doors, of course. <laughs> right. And not only doors, but a big and impressive one to let in as many people as possible. By now, we've carved quite a few holes in our cathedral. Unfortunately, not every building can carry a roof like that and have so many windows. So what do we do? Good and solid work. That's what we do. If we don't want our cave to collapse, we have to make everything perfect. Not only strong, but consistent and perfectly even. The walls, the roof, the windows, everything. Perfectly proportioned. You shouldn't say big words like proportioned when talking to a child. What does it mean? It means beauty. 
Well, it means not only will it keep them dry, it'll give them hope. It will give them hope. Like this? <laughs> oh boy. Mama? It's coming. Yep. It's a baby. Oh boy. She is a bleeding. Not good. Not good at all. The baby is coming. Oh yeah, I'd say the baby's coming. But it's not you. Have your waters broken you? Soon after we started walking this morning. Oh, you should say told nothing. Me. She didn't say nothing. I'm so tired. I don't believe I can bring it into the world. That's not good. Well, look at all the blood. <laughs> let's see. Let's go with, uh... <laughs> Children? Uh, turn back to Agnes. Calm down. Uh, Martha. Martha. Build a bigger fire. We're going to need some reed soon. I need you to remain steadfast. Go and collect more wood. Let's have a bigger fire. Let me do it. I'm quicker than her. No, let me do it. Let Martha do it. I'll be quick. It, it'll take forever before she's back. Get more water. Take snow if you must and make it warm. Right. Let me cover you. This is all my fault. She trusted me to provide for her. And now she has to give birth in the forest in winter. This is all my fault. Tell her a story. What can I do to help? Look around. Right, what can I do to help? Stay with me. Remember when Martha was born and the Lady Isabella acted as midwife? You were building a chapel. And you asked her to send her maid to fetch the midwife from the village. Yeah, and she said, that drunken old witch will let her deliver a literal wolfhound pups. And she took us to our own chamber. And poor Lord Robert could not go to bed until Martha was born. The water's warm now. Put it next to me. All right, take care of your sister now, dude. Oh, she's back. It, is the fire better now? Can you feel the warmth? Yes. I'd say for a year as bad as this one, we've managed quite well. You lost your work. And then Martha almost got killed by that pig thief. You call that well? We're going through hell. I know. But we're still here for each other, aren't we? Holding together as a family. Us builders aren't carved out of measly wood. Never were. Expect a lump of granite to come falling from my legs. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> They're almost as scared as I am. They're almost as scared as I am. Yep, that's all they got to say. They're scared. Alfred. Take care of your little sister. I I'm fine. Take care of Mama instead. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Uh huh. Now, Martha. It's not long now. Be ready. Collect some reeds and make me two lengths of string, each big enough for a necklace. What for? You'll see. What about me? Let me do something. 
What a big baby he is. He's not making it better. Yeah, no shit. He's annoying. Alfred. Let me do something. Oh my gosh. Big baby. See it. It looks horrible. He's perfect. A perfect boy. You're still bleeding. It's all right. It will stop soon. Tom. Yes? Thank you for being my midwife. Do you remember the night I came to you? In your lodge? When you were working on my father's church? Of course. How could I ever forget? I never regretted giving myself to you. Jeez. Never. For one moment. Every time I think of that night, I feel so glad. Me too. She's probably gonna die. Just being real. I hope you build your cathedral. Oh boy. I thought you were against it. I was. But I was wrong. You deserve something beautiful. Build a beautiful cathedral for me. Yep, she's on her way out. Look at how pale she is compared to everybody else. She's slouching. Papa, yep. what's wrong with her face? Agnes. Agnes, wake up. Yep, she's all done. Too much blood loss. That's sad. Man. Can you just imagine that in real life? Like, they were having babies in the woods and caves and... Even still today, there's some cultures that are living in the middle of nowhere. And it's just mind-blowing. The human body is mind-blowing to me. I, I just... This... Stories like this really... They, you know, they make you think. So that was the intro. The tutorial. I like the little adventure games like this, kind of like really uh, heavy story. Heavy story based games. Pillars of Earth by Ken Forward. Pillars of Earth from the Ashes Prologue. What you did. You want your cathedral to bring hope. You told Agnes you would accept any job offered by the bishop. You struggled to support Agnes during childbirth. You found information about Tom's past. Book one, 
from the ashes. Chapter 1. Philip. It's a donkey. The year of our Lord, 1135, had come to an end. King Henry of England, son of William the Conqueror, had died. It was a time of poverty and death. In their despair, some had come to believe Christ and all his saints had gone to sleep. And that the pillars of the earth themselves had begun to crumble. Stroke pony, brother Paul. Well, it's a pony, it's not a dog. Is there no one to welcome us? Who goes there? There we go. You just crossed the bridge, right? That'll be a farthing for you and a penny for your horse. Monks and villagers don't have to pay a toll. Ah, sorry, I'm not good at this. I told Brother Paul. It's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. It is not much, but I can share this with you. He pockets it. The cloth still smells a bit of the cheese that was wrapped in it. I hope now it will be easier for you to fulfill your duties. Oh, I'm sure it will. Will you take care of my horse, brother? I've come to see Prior James. Prior James? That's him the bells are tolling for. L leave the horse here. I I'll get it down to the Priory later. The fish should go nicely with that cheese. What? Why are they ringing the bells? Don't you know? The devil has come to Kingsbridge. come to Kingsbridge Philip's Bible you can use Philip's Bible on objects to find out what the Bible tells Philip about them or use it on people to discuss matters of faith okay she is getting old was in St. John before ever before me. Hopefully many travels together ahead of us. Okay. Here we go. How do we get down there? Toll Hut. Usually Brother Paul sits here. Where is Paul? Path between trees. Quite a few nuts left. By judging but judging by the tracks, squirrels are interested as well. Okay. A few beech nuts found. Rough stone poking out from the ground. If I were a mason, it might be of some use. All right, we're done here. That was limestone, too. Let's go check the other side of the bridge, then we'll head down. My back hurts. Priority 
priority takes fish from the river. Priory. River moves. Priory's mills. And river carries away Priory's wastes. Alright, this is as far as I can go. towards the south. Many of Priory's servants gone. The village almost deserted. Priory couldn't pay them. Makes sense. The monks of Kingsbridge and their servants. I wonder which of them led a more pious life. The monks of Kingsbridge and their servants. I wonder which of them led a more pious life. Road to Gloucester. Not many travel along this road. People only come from Four Cathedral. The Lord your God is with you wherever you go. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Looks like strong mare must belong to a guest a nobleman whoever is righteous has regard for the life of his beast <coughs> horrible odor should be cleaned priory full of neglect wash yourselves make yourselves clean Remove the evil of your deeds from before my eyes. A disgrace. Rubble should should be removed. Four years since lightning struck. Morals collapsed as well. A disgrace. Whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. Only cathedral in Shiring. Far from any town. Visitors only come on holy days. Pay careful attention to care for the church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. Huh. Why did they lock it? Maybe the side entrance is open. At least this looks well kept. Guest ma master, a pious man, too early to retire. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Closed. The kitchen feels like coming home. Always good to see. Milius and Cuthbert. They deserve better priory. At least the cloister stands strong. In St. John, we contemplate outside. Yet my lock is content. At least the cloister stands strong. I don't understand how May these my things. meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Sounds like a bunch of Bible. Sounds like a bunch of lines from the Bible. Side doors unlocked. Interesting, this toll. 
The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed according to their own kinds. And God saw that it was good. Here the brother hold elections. Only time only time when all brothers are equal. Long ago all monks used to be equal. I do hope that scripture guides my brothers in all their decisions. entrance to the cathedral. I prefer this one to the front gate. It is more humble. Alright, it's open. I skipped the doorway, but whatever. Actually, two. The one on the left as well. Oh, they're here. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the pestilence that walketh in darkness. The pestilence that rode in on the lightning that struck our cathedral four years ago. Did you not all feel its presence here ever since? James did, and I did as well. But the Lord says, Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. Our beloved prior James, has served the Lord all his life. He shall be delivered from the darkness, from this dark earth. Prior James? Philip. Francis? Shh. For many years, James has been our prior. After the upcoming election, I vow to lead Kingsbridge Priory with the same steady hand. Amen. Something's not right with that guy. Philip. We told your brother you'd come to Kingsbridge New Year's Day. I did not expect to see you here. I was on my way back to Gloucester and wanted to see you. A priest working in the world of politics. You must tell us about it, Francis. Of course. And his brother, a prior of what now? Two years? It's been four years, Cuthbert. <laughs> I see. How are things in St. John in the forest, Philip? Better than here, in our mother house, Kingsbridge, it seems. I wanted to use my New Year's visit to talk to Prior James about this. James did the best he could, Philip. If you had been here, you would know that. I I'm sorry. No. You're right, Philip. With a limp hand on the tiller, a ship is blown about at hazard and goes nowhere. James meant well. Of course he did. Please, forgive me. Come by the kitchen later to see us, will you? Brother Cuthbert seemed upset. Well, we all are. The way James died was disturbing. How did he die? Yeah. Disturbing? How did prior James die? Seven days ago, Brother Remigius found James's room empty. We all looked for him for hours. Then we found his footprints by the bridge and a 
a hole in the ice. Oh, no. No. In the small hours of Christmas Day, he must have walked out on the river. We didn't even find his body. The river took him Wait a minute. Cold. He's not even dead. I will Watch. James. He's captured or See something. See me when you have time, Philip. I will be in the cathedral. And I should go and see how Brother Cuthbert is doing. It's good to see you, Philip. Maybe things will get better after the chapter elects the new prior. Hopefully. I will come by the kitchen later, Milius. Hmm. Interesting, for sure. What is Francis doing here? And where is he? At least it wasn't Remedius who punished us. Man, like, said he's taking a beating now once a week. this story is really already unfolding. Conversations to have. I like it. Let's save. He cried. One more beating by Remedius. He'll run. It's definitely interesting. I like that it's going to come out in different books, just like, kind of like, you know, like Telltale, Walking Dead. Um, really cool. So this is just the first book, chapters one through seven, and uh, we'll definitely be jumping back in to play more chapters. That was just the prologue and the start of chapter one. Um, that's going to do it for this first introduction to Ken Bullets, The Pillars of the Earth, here on the PlayStation 4. Thanks for watching on Nalio Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at RiseUp44 and at Nalio Gaming. And subscribe to me here on Nalio Gaming. So, if you made it to the end of this video, then I appreciate you watching. I really do. Um, thanks for staying till the end. Click that like button and let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. Uh, I do like that this is definitely along the lines of a, a heavy story based, uh, a lot of narrative and decisions, and um, that's cool. And I, I like games like this. Yeah, they're drawn out and you have to have some more patience and time to play games like this, but I'm all about the story and games right now, so uh, this is right up my alley. So, Again, I appreciate you watching, and I hope you'll click that like button if you enjoyed this, and consider subscribing to me here on Nelio Gaming. Follow me on Twitter, at RiseUp44 and at Nelio Gaming, and I'll see you soon. Peace.